That one really wrong. That one really wrong it. What is going on everyone? Riddick here and welcome to Off the Shelf Air Guns. That's right, today we got the brand new Umarex Primex. Just saw this debut at SHOT Show 2024, but it hit the market immediately and so here it is. We got one. I'm gonna take a look at it here. It is a brake barrel action, gas piston. I really like the uh, stock on this. It, it's lightweight. It's uh, not super heavy. Very nice to handle. But still, at the same time, feels nice and solid. You know? I mean, that's solid. And, uh, yeah, I really like that. It, it feels really nice, honestly. Uh, nice rubber butt pad on the back there. Forward safety, as usual, like we see on these. Uh, this one's kind of different. It's a little bit more curved and goes up in almost. Of course, you got your hooded fiber optic on the front. Rear is adjustable for elevation and windage. Does come with a 4x32 scope, which we will use in the future to test out. Uh, 11 millimeter dovetail on there. So in future videos, we will test out the scope, don't worry, but this is just the first look. We're just gonna be doing some plinking in this video. And uh, also something new we're gonna try in this video, we're adding to the first look videos, is ambient sound because I know a lot of people are curious like what does it sound like maybe to the neighbors when you're shooting this thing right uh, well I got an audio field recorder set out there so that we can capture the ambient sound because when I'm shooting these the lav mic dies down every time I take a shot uh, so you're not getting the full effect what does it sound like ambiently we're at least going to be able to hear that through the audio field recorder uh, what that picks up so anyway uh, I did clean the barrel before anybody asks. These are going to be the first shots out of it, but I did clean the barrel, as you can see. Uh, obviously, all kinds of fun stuff in there, but uh, a lot of people don't understand. Like, I do all that stuff before we go into anything, okay? So even if it's still, you know, breaking, you know, dieseling or cracking the sound a little bit there, it's just because of the residue. You're not going to get it all. It naturally has to burn off. Anyway, today we're going to be using the H&N Field Target Trophies. I like these. And yeah, we're just going to be doing some plinking. It's just a first look at the Primex. It's not too bad to break down at all. Like, really nice. Uh, yeah, I, I really like how it feels. We haven't looked in an Umarex product on here lately, so interested to see what happens. Of course, we have to... Uh, Pating. Well, it patings, and therefore, that's a win already. That's a win already. Let's see if we can't go out there a little further. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> a weebly arm there. Yep. And this is a super budget friendly one, okay? It's not going to be too crazy as far as that goes, which is always nice. There we go. That black gong out there. What about the black diamond? Maybe. Boom, we got it. Yep, we got it. All right, uh, <laughs> about one of them uh, bottles. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. It's all right. Now what we're gonna do is, you'll note the audio will switch over to the ambient audio that we're recording with the field recorder and uh, see what it sounds like. I'm just gonna take a few shots. I'm not necessarily gonna pating, but just to hear what the rifle sounds like ambiently. So, here we go. It's really not too bad. It doesn't have a... It doesn't really have a deep, like a moderator on it, so to speak. But it's not too bad, either way. It does have kind of like a faux one on here. Not so sure it's actually doing anything, obviously. 
still not too bad. They claim upwards of 1,000 FPS with alloy. Uh, we'll figure all that out in the full review when we do chronograph testing and all that stuff. Pating. <laughs> All right, let's try the orange gong out there. I think I just hit underneath of it. I think I just hit underneath of it. Let's try that again. There it is. Tink. I put the tink, tink, tink. <laughs> um. Go uh, try this blue bottle, maybe. See if we can't hit the. Ah, there it is. Ting! That one really rung. That one really rung it. I'll take one more here. Let's take one more. And uh. We'll listen to the ambient audio on this one as well. See what it sounds like. We're just going to go. Um, yeah, we'll just do that again. <laughs> Didn't ring it as hard that time. But there it is. The Umarex Primax. Brake barrel. 22 caliber. Obviously, like I said, it comes in 177. Uh, yeah. Brand new on the market. We just saw it at SHOT Show 2024, and now here we are taking a look at it here. Again, this is just a first look. The full-blown review will be coming soon, and we're gonna kind of do a little bit different format with the full-blown reviews. For the full-blown reviews, we're gonna do, you know, as much detail as we can. Uh, all the chronograph testing will now be in the full-blown reviews, but worry not because I'm still going to take that section, uh, like I'll cut out the chronograph test section and repost that as its own standalone video so that we continue to have those standalone chronograph test videos, okay? But I am going to film everything all in one review. So if you watch the full review, you're going to get the whole thing and then we'll still cut out the chronograph test fit, uh, portion and post that separately. So we still have the standalone chronograph test videos because I know some people like having that as a standalone thing because maybe that's all they're worried about and whatnot. Uh, as far as the accuracy, we're going to stick to how we've been doing it, just do standard accuracy in the full review and then we'll do standalone accuracy tests because I like to move around on that a lot and that would just be a ridiculously long, way too long of a video for throwing that all in at the end and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. And then of course we're going to add in the addition of the ambient audio so that we can kind of see what it sounds like. What would the neighbors hear when you pull the trigger, right? What is that going to sound like? Okay. And down the line, I'll probably add like a decibel audio meter so that we can see what that is. But I kind of like hearing what it's going to sound like to the neighbor, like the actual audio. What will it sound like when they're next door and you're about out in the backyard plinking? What are they going to hear? So something new we're going to add to it that I think is pretty fun, which you obviously just heard here. And uh, yeah, there it is, the Umarex Primax. So far, so good. Uh, we'll get into the nitty gritty with it, of course, in the full review, but uh, hope you enjoyed this first look at it. And with that said, I'll catch you all down the road. <laughs>